Hello everyone, it's Peter here from Screen Protector. Guys, so... <laughs> it is a Hiroshima. <laughs> it is a Hiroshima, you can say that, as Alex from Northridge Fix is saying. Uh, please have a look, it's a iPad 5 mini. You know, it's here was a tri-star chip, tri-star chip, or whatever you want to prefer to call it yes here uh, that's that's what it is uh, I checked versus the image I was able to find online and was provided as well by the person who gave it to me for playing uh, I can say that there should be 12 of those capacitors I've checked them so they are all but the problem only is that I don't have all the components. So some of the components are missing. Now my question is, uh, is it a part here of the capacitor and it was just pulled? Because here, I don't know if you can visualize it. It's a one row of two capacitors and these row are going here for, okay? So this is either it's looking like a part of the capacitor and it was just pulled for some reason or it's a pad and which I doubt but it is it, it could be a pad and I could be wrong you know so if it's a pad we'll get a problem so now we could do what this person before us you know did and r uh, like get this shield you know off the way or we could just use the hot air and do what, what they try to do here, just to take it off, okay? Now the problem only is I don't understand why the person has stopped. Because you can lift, you know, lift by that and the gravity will pull this board down. And once, you know, you hit the sweet spot of melting you just you know you just go with a flow yeah so it's it's the, the question is why why it was done we don't know as, that, as well if the board was overheated so we don't know how it will end up I don't like to heat those components just to heat those components now this is something some material so you know, so I'm, I'm not keen to heat it up, but do I have other choice? I I would have to take out that part, this part here, yes, and you know, like take it out. But will it help or will it, you know, like make it worse? I've got no idea. That's why I'd rather, you know, use hot air, use a leverage or something, yes get it off because that, that's looking like the attempt was made because I haven't used any pressure to do what what it's here yeah so unless it's going so easily and it's going so easily guys the solder doesn't hold but it's in this case you know it can go off so especially when you can do it like that, why you would not do it? Like I don't understand. Because if it's going so easily, let's let's take it off. Now I'll pose it, I'll go across and I'll, once I've, I've got it off, I'll unpose it so that you don't have to wait so long. Okay guys, so yeah. We get a shield removed, not all, but I, I, I left the, this part. It's no no point, no value, you know, for us to remove everything. And uh, what we need to focus now, because th the problem only is that I was, I was checking and I don't know the values of these capacitors. All I know is that these two here should be as they are just, oh, that's, that's an... That's not nice. That's another one. 
goes to these fellas here. Okay, you guys, time to come back home. Okay, I found quite a few to be true. Oh, you don't see, guys. So, where it is? Where are you? Here. Hmm? Look, that's what I was able to find, that, and that's it. No. Plus, yes, plus. This one is looking like it's missing parts. Maybe just the light. Or it's missing parts on one side. Okay, anyways, you know, that's the one which which we want to have here as well. So that's all which I found. Uh, now, based on the colors, I can only put them. Because I can't put them otherwise. So we've got this one, which is a brown one. A light brown one like this. And this one, I would say, is similar color to them. Now these two black ones are different if they are capacitors because sometimes they are not capacitors to be true. Then we've got this tiny one. It's 0201 I think size or maybe 04. This looks like 08. Yeah, this looks like 08 size, 0805 I think they are. And this would be 0603. And if you want to check, here I got zero ohm resistors. And that, that's my guessing, you know. But let's check 0402 first. I need to take it out. Okay. Oh, yeah. What are we talking about? These are 0402. So I would say, yes, I would say that the, the biggest ones are 0603. Okay. This, this one would be as these ones are. Okay just so that we know have to take some flux because it's not not letting me to take it so I don't know if I'm able to catch it with uh, with my tweezers I don't like to grab them with tweezers I like to put a bit of uh, of the flux and then grab them but I want it to just you know just move it around so I want you to to compare these sizes yourselves that's looking okay it's magnetized so that's a, that's it's a bit of a problem as well and that's looking like this yeah so that's 060402, sorry, 0402. If this is 0402, uh, we can get now so that I, I'll know at least, you know, if, if anything. 0402. Now I need 0603. That's 0603, yeah, okay. So, six of so these are either 0805s, the bigger ones, or 0603. Okay, let's put these ones the same. 0603. Hmm. I would say the biggest ones are. slightly smaller. This 0603, yes, I don't know, but that's looking like, like a bigger ones, 
but it is 0603. Okay. So the difference in between 0805 now, you can you can check yourself. So 603 is smaller. So now 08. Ooh, 08 is much larger. We don't have 08 here. Okay. So the biggest size we have is 04. 04. Well, I was wrong. Okay. So better to check the sizes. And if you work or want to work with micro soldering, you get used to those sizes. Try to just move them around, yes. Uh, then don't use tweezers when you're grabbing them because it will be your biggest pain. Try to um, try to use flux, you know, put the tip in the flux and then grab it and then drag it and drop it. Uh, so yeah, and the smaller size is 021, 0402. Okay, why well, we got a 402, 12, 10, no. Okay, so yeah, 0402 would be this. This size which we have here, 0402. These are our, our 402s. And this is 020. Where are you? Here. This is 021. I'll, I'll check it as well for you so you'll know. You will be able to check it yourself and we can finish this video because it video has 12 minutes and i think i have them auto ones zero ohm resistor five capacitors and I don't see that's 1206 so the smallest uh, resistors I've got are those 40402 I don't have any smaller ones so these these are bigger ones yes these are bigger ones and that's 0805 Okay, so I don't have those smallest ones. So if we're missing any, yes, if we're missing any, I am unable to finish this for this guy. So we can we can easily see, okay? Easily see that. Here we've got one, two, three, four missing. This one is soldered okay this one is missing which is this small one underneath oh you, you don't see because I'm here let me disappear a bit okay so you get this small bit here but anyways you know like it it doesn't change anything so we've got one here i'll open the picture because because i want to tell you before disconnecting with you guys okay yes so um after this okay after this here we've got another big one here so that let's start from here one small one we've got one bigger one we have and that's the same color as these so that will be the black one then it's these are two rows oh look another one loose <laughs> i'm touching here I've, I've seen there was one more loose i was wondering where it is so we get one two three four missing five missing six missing here okay six and we've got already one, two, three, four, five, six. So then we've got three left. Okay. And here after those two rows, there are two. One, 
and two okay and this is some other fella which those have damaged pins that's stable on the side of it here is one small like tiny missing above it is one missing with damaged pad over there so maybe the one which we took out above it here is one small missing which i count it's not clear for me actually i would have to clean this board first and then on the left side of the chip we need to zoom in because i count literally count C so on the left side of the three star chip okay where it is here we've got one two three four so we've got the one two three four those chips are okay here is a one chip which I from what I look at the board it, it shouldn't be any I don't know I need to confirm this one and here doesn't look any as well so that could be paths so the picture I've got either is wrong or I I can't read properly and here is one missing as well so we are missing quite a few capacitors and uh, and here I can't see to be true it's too too, ba too big magnification so here after this one okay after this we've got the one here but that's that's the capacitor color okay and then there is a resistor color here and then there is one here missing and that's all yes quite a few components missing and these have damaged uh, pads so 0402 and I think 0201 uh, because these ones are, are those smaller ones so I would say <coughs> either either he will order more or I won't even start this job part 2 of the Hiroshima uh, because you know if I'm missing components if I will start it I want to finish it off yes so what's the point to start it so maybe let's do part two when we will clean it up and we will see how it will look like and we will confirm what's missing but for now guys everything Ta -da! you see uh, this was given to me by one of my friends mm, well as you see you know it's it's really hard to not make a mistake so if you want to learn don't learn on customer stuff get yourself something and learn on this stuff and believe me if you will remove all those components from this board and you will be able to put them again then you can call that you can you can do stuff yes if you don't and if you will be working on the component 0603, 0603 and 0805 and you never work on the 01s, 02s, 04s, guys, that, don't compare, please. It's, it's a different level, it's another level, okay? It's difficult to use these tweezers, you know, to work with them. But that's it, guys, everything. Hopefully you see how tiny things we have. Uh, we have to work with uh, so yeah here I've got a bunch of those zero ohm resistors you can see how tiny these are so that's that's the bigger size yes you see here <laughs> and then the smaller ones are O2 size say or I'm wrong and these are O but I, these look like O2 so. Uh, I'd have to have to you know to compare but lo looks like 02, 02, 01 guys if you enjoy what you've seen <laughs> and the Hiroshima attack please give us a one like I'll give you the second one yes so here's two comes to you thank you for watching guys if possible let's fix them all even Hiroshima's and see you in the next video bye bye